the beachfront tranquility belies the anxiety in Kuwait City. Jackie Wu and Betsy O'Neill are two of the estimated 10,000 American expatriates living in Kuwait. Both work at the American Academy for Girls, and both are pondering if and when they should get out. They decided, you know, if people start to get scared, they say, okay, you can go home and you can send some of the children home too. I don't know. Jackie's a counselor at the girls' school where Betsy's a teacher. Using information given on Kuwaiti television, Betsy has sealed up a room in her own apartment where she could retreat in case of a gas attack by the Iraqis. Betsy, who's single, thinks she'll stay, but is keeping open her option to go. If I really sat here and thought that I was going to have to go sit in that room, I should go. Because if it's gas or something like that in the air, I shouldn't... Why should I put myself in that situation? So I'm pretty much assuming nothing, but it's nice to have a precautionary measure in case something would happen. Jackie is eight months pregnant with her first child. Just in case something happens, will I be able to get out? Will, I, will there be medical care here for me? So I am thinking that I'm going to go to Dubai. Jackie plans to leave on Tuesday. Her husband works for Kuwait's Air Force. He'll stay behind.